hello everyone and welcome back. I'm not looking forward to it, but let's start the long drive north. zigzag through and I'm on 55 north. I have 1,272 miles to go. Just crossing over into Mississippi. trailer on the back. You know, there's quite a bit of weight in there. The U-Haul trailers have some weight to them also. Uh, it makes the truck ride so much smoother. And with that, yeah, I cannot even tell it's back there. I'm down to 86 miles to E, so I'll have to stop and get diesel pretty soon. I think I'm going to stop in Granada looking for like a Love's Travel Stop, but I forget that this part of Mississippi doesn't have a whole lot. Well, I'm all fueled up. They didn't have anything good for lunch in there, and there's still an hour until lunchtime, so I'm just going to hit the road and we'll find somewhere else to eat later. right now. GPS took me 55 north and all of a sudden I'm seeing things I've never seen in St. Louis before and then all the signs are saying I'm going to Chicago and it's like I do not look <laughs> I don't know any time wise it's almost the same but I don't know where any of the hotels are or anything going that direction and I don't want to go that direction anyway so then it made me do a u-turn and then I'm about 12 miles back to St. Louis here and now it'll get me over to where I was going. There's so much road construction I couldn't keep track of the roads looking the same. So yeah, I'm not gonna quite make it as far as I wanted to tonight, but I'll be over halfway, which is good. I figured out what's worse than driving through St. Louis during rush hour. That's happened to do it twice. <laughs> Pulling a trailer on a Friday afternoon. Not as many leaves on the trees here. They're just starting to come out. 
I stopped in Bowling Green, Missouri to get a room. I stayed there. I've stayed there quite a few times, but when I got there, uh, they don't have any rooms left. So now I'm driving up to Hannibal and I think I'll try to stay at the Best Western on the river. See if they have any rooms available. That ended up being a big waste of time. There's it's like all the hotels there are up on the hill, kind of, and there's nowhere to park, not with a trailer like this. So now I'm going to the next town, which is uh, Palmyra, and I've stayed there before. So <laughs> I've been there a few times. Well, I got my room. I've stayed here at least three times. It's not much of a hotel at all, but I mean 60 bucks for the room. It's not bad. They're clean. I see they upgraded the mattresses since last time I was here. <laughs> uh, Max's very last trip down to when we went to Louisiana that year before he passed away, we came to this hotel. Yeah, at least there was one available. And this was the last one that was left. Good morning everybody, 10 minutes after 6, let's continue on north. Normally I would pull off here and stop at that Flying J like I always do. I still have 330 miles to ease, so not this time. Just crossing into Iowa. This part of Iowa has quite a few hills, so you're climbing up and going back down. And it's funny, this truck, compared to the King Ranch with the 6.0, I would never run it in uh, with cruise control on because then it'll downshift and then, I don't know, it just feels more violent. I like to do that with the pedal. This truck, it doesn't. I suppose it's the dual turbo or whatever it is on it. It just, the turbo goes way up, you know, it'll run up to 26, 27. When I'm going downhill, it'll be running around 6. But it doesn't seem to, it doesn't slow down at all. It just stays the same. Oh, we stay on this road for 84 miles. leaves on the trees here. The grass is starting to get some green in it. The wind is just blasted from the right side pushing against the truck and trailer. Looking at the radar, it looks like once I get into Minnesota a ways, it's going to be pretty rainy. Finally in Minnesota, going through the town of Spring Valley. If I remember right, there's a subscriber that lives in this town, and they'll comment when I post a video like this when it takes me this way. I've driven here many times where that wind is, it's in the winter, and the snow is just blowing over the road and it gets real icy in here. I'm gonna stop here and grab something to eat. 500 feet, turn left onto Jefferson Drive. 
Well, I grabbed some lunch. I was gonna get diesel because I need to get it. I mean, I'll get home and it'd be like 30 miles to E. But I, I'm not gonna, there's too many people. I can't wait to get back up by a home where there's not a million people in every store all the time. St. Paul Saturday at about almost one o'clock in the afternoon and there's a traffic jam <laughs> I just stopped and got fuel, but only about a half a tank. That pump was so slow. <laughs> it's cold out there. Forty-four miles to go. Thanks a lot for watching everybody. That was a long drive. I will see you guys on the next video.